Hello guys, welcome to the Cord Mat. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. We solve a lot of uh, competitive problems. Today's problem is uh, we need to merge K sorted list. So we have a given K sorted linked list, and we need to return a sorted uh, again linked list. So in the example, here are the number of list given in the input one, uh, one four five, one three four, and two four two six. So these are the linked list uh, given as an input and we need to return a single linked list which needs to be in a sorted or order. Uh, here as we want it to be in a sorted so probably we can use a priority queue to achieve the result linked list. Let's understand this with an example and then we will write a code for that. Alright so here are the uh, three linked lists uh, given as an input. So we have L1, L2 and L3 which is as an input. Uh, so we'll first define a priority key which is having a size same as what we have in the L1, L2 and L3. So a priority key size will be a number of linked lists. So let's say we have priority queue as size 3. Okay. Uh, what the logic we will apply as uh, given in the uh, in the definition that each uh, linked list again is in a sorted order so if we go through the first one one four five it's itself is in a sorted order so what we will do is we will uh, take one node from each linked list and we will edit it into the priority queue so a priority queue is a type of again a linked list so let's say in the initial uh, initial time the priority queue will have this kind of load this kind of nodes one one two we will take all the first element from the linked list all linked list okay and now this now after that what we will do is uh, we will take uh, the first element from the priority queue which is going to be always uh, the minimum number from the priority queue so let's say first we will we have picked up this number will pick it from a priority queue and we will add it into our result uh, linked list let's say we have our result linked list and having a first element as a one okay when we picked up this element at the same time what we will do is we will add the next element from the same linked list from where this node comes up let's say if this one is from the first L1 it is from the first linked list so we'll add the second number in our priority queue so the next uh, version or next uh, set of elements in the linked list will be 1 2 and the 4 okay now we will follow the same approach we will again pick the one element from the uh, priority queue and we will append it to the, our result and then uh, it goes in this way again if we have, if we will pick this element we will add 3 from the L2 because that one is from the second linked list so we'll again the next uh, next version could be uh, two, four, and three. Again, pick up the one element. So this is how uh, we will do in an iteration until our uh, priority queue gets empty. Till that point, we will follow the same approach. So our result will be three, then five, six, and six six. So this is what uh, result we will get in the uh, final result and we will return the this linked list. Now let's go back to the code editor and write a logic for that. Now let's first define a priority queue and our result linked list. Uh, so our priority queue uh, will be of type linked list or list node. The queue is equal to new priority queue. And our priority queue we want to be our shorting logic to be based on the value. So let's say we have two node x and y in the input. We want their x dot val minus y dot val. Okay. And after that, okay. Now let's define our result list. Let's node result equal to new. We will create one dummy node.
okay and one we will create for the pointer okay now we will return result result dot next okay because that is going to be your start point okay now what we will do is first we will iterate uh, the number of times that we number of uh, linked list present in the list to add the first node in the priority queue so let's go to that i is equal to 0 i less than less dot length and then i plus plus okay now if less of i is not equal to null then we will add the head to the priority queue okay less so this this way we, we we are going to or we are adding the first node to the our priority queue okay so we have now our priority queue ready with uh, uh, nodes from the every link list present from the input now let's iterate our this priority queue we'll iterate till uh, we have nodes in the priority queue so until it gets empty we'll iterate it okay now list node and then take a node is equal to pq dot pole just take a first element and then what we will do is <clears throat> from here onwards uh, if first we will add the next node of the same link list to the priority queue now let's say if node dot next is not equal to null then what we will do is pq dot offer uh, node dot next okay now we have this node we will append it to the our result link list so p dot next is equal to your node and then p is equal to p dot next okay so this looks to be good now let's run this code and see what outcomes we are getting okay so this is what the three link list given to us so it's expected as well as the output so we are it looks to be good let's submit this code okay it got submitted so that's it in this video hope you like it uh, please add comments if you have a different approach or you are looking for a solution for a different problem thank you guys